the Movement for Islamic Culture and Awareness, Maika Abuja Branch, has been familiar with the act of sensitization and dissemination of Islamic information in a dynamic way, tagged Dawa and Medical Reach Out. This is ranged from Dawa propagation from one village to another within the Federal Capital Territory and free medical treatment, drugs and health education as part of a way of touching people's lives, both Muslims and non-Muslims. Such act is a regular routine and part of schedule of Micah Abuja, which usually stated three times in the year. An outing that made up of volunteers such as doctors, nurses, pharmacists, scholars, mothers, and youth who are members of the organization. This year's Dawa and Medical Reach Out took place in a village called Ido Seriki Community along Airport Road, Abuja. As usual, the whole team begins the Dawa and Medical Outreach with mapping out the Dawa strategy to be used, then group themselves into six before each group commenced on the Dawa outreach. Architect Mufadil Bakari enlightened each group on what is required of them and how rewarding this outreach is. Them however he wish. He just wants us to go and pronounce the words to them. If he wishes, he makes it to be transmitted to them. So it is really not in our hands to change the people's mind. It's in Allah's hand, isn't it? So we are like pushing a moving vehicle. We must understand that. The second thing that we should also, the third thing that we should know is that just the same way that the Anbiya alayhi salam used to repeat when they give the message that people will ask them, what do we do for you? They will say, in the Ajriya, in the Allah. Our reward is with who? With Allah. Whatever sacrifices we are making here, if you expect anybody to praise you, sorry for you. Whatever we are going to do here, we should rely totally on the reward from who? Allah. So we should focus on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're doing his job, the work of the Anbiya alayhi salam, and we're going to do it according to his directives. But our reward is only with Allah. Number four, our reward is not in the number of people that accept. See, Allah has made it very easy. That's why we're pushing a moving vehicle. This one is one that is like it's all what it's all what exists in this world. And if you follow this way, you promise us that our, our destination will be a good one and also it will give us life in the year after that. And we never feel pain, we never feel anything that we just enjoy forever. Where everybody belongs is all is just a function of where how we were giving back to because for some people their parents were muslim and uh, were muslims and they were you know they would give back to muslims some people their parents were christians they give back to christians some people their parents were traditional people and they give back to traditional people so but you know god can there's nothing god cannot change you can even be a muslim and be 50 years old and you will change to another thing you know so but the reason why we are here is to uh, greet our brothers around, extend our uh, peace greetings to them, and also invite them to some programs that we have around here. Because we brought a program around here to talk about God to people. That is one. To also uh, give medical uh, benefits to people. And for the little ones that don't have, to share what we have with them so that we are we can be one it's not a matter of where you where you are from but it's a matter of being one and that's one of the reason why we are here after an hour of the propagation the various groups returned as the community responded by trooping out to LEA primary school Ido Seriki where architect Mufadil Bakari welcomed them and admonished them on the purpose of the visitation. Now, the iman that Allah SWT has given to us is greater than all these benefits of being human beings. Because with the iman, Allah SWT connects us to Himself. It is because we are believers that we can make pro proclamations just by saying, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We get benefits. It is said that when you say one subhanallah, a tree is planted to, for you in Jannah. The shade of this tree 
a fast moving horse will ride under the shade of one tree for 40 years and it will not have covered the shade. Just for saying subhanallah. So there is greatness in our being believers. In our salah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with salah. A, a means by which we can communicate with him directly. We don't have to go through anybody to talk to Allah. The Lord of the world. We just talk to him directly. Afterwards, medical treatment, drug and clothes distribution follows immediately. Our correspondent, Kiyama Jubril, speaks with some of the volunteers and the beneficiaries. What happened here today is what people are looking for, for many times ago. Because to go to hospital, if you go there, the way they will attend to you at times, you will not like, today now, I'm just passing by. Then somebody invite me. And immediately I come here, they give me my tag number, less than 20, 30 minutes. Then they attend to me. They give me what I want. They give me what I need. They give me free. So we thank God for that. If our government can start doing this, moving from village to village, from rural area to rural area, then we'll be happy. Today's success is very good. At least it modelized people to have interest in Islam. So it's very good. Some people are sick, they don't have money to buy drugs. When you people are here now, you people help a lot. So it's very good. You people should keep it on. God, God will bless everybody. In its usual characteristic, it's another of its kind. Um, it's an inspiring outing for Michael Abuja. It, um, inspiring and challenging um, what we would tell them is for them to take their health more serious than they are taking it then for the Muslims within the community to always be vanguards of Islam to maintain the principles of environmental hygiene that Islam has taught us it's good as usual because I've uh, actually been involved in this uh, medical and uh, outreach um, for about 13 years now. Actually, I'm the head of the medical, Maika Medical and Dawa Outreach. I will be to so many villages. Here, yeah, the turnout is quite good, and the doctors are working well, and the pharmacy and all the medical teams, they are really doing well, and the turnout is good. Alhamdulillah, there were many doctors available, and also the Drugs are also available and we have enough volunteers who are participating in the event. So Alhamdulillah for the successful outing that we are having today for the Dawa and Medical Caravan. We need them to turn out more. Then to the organization we should improve on this and we should work more. Try to make it a regular thing. At least we've been here before and the turnout was better than this. So if you come subsequently, the turnout should be better. <laughs> ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر ويتم نعمته عليك ويتم نعمته عليك ويهديك صراطا مستقيما وينصرك الله نصرا عزيزا هو الذي أنزل السكينة في قلوب المؤمنين ليزدادوا إيمانا مع إيمانهم ولله جنود السماوات والأرض وكان الله عليما حكيما